In my Whiskey Glasses cover video, I played this Martin Custom Road Series acoustic guitar and it sounded absolutely fantastic. It actually prompted me to buy my own acoustic guitar, so in this video I want to look at this Ibanez Artwood Series acoustic guitar which I bought. The criteria for buying an acoustic guitar was threefold. I was looking at playability, I was looking at sound, and of course I was looking at price because I was looking for a budget guitar. Basically, I was looking for a budget Martin guitar, and I know that doesn't exist. And what I'm gonna do in this video is go through the playability, we'll go through the sound, and obviously we'll have a look at the price. But just before we do that, I wanna go through the specifications on this Ibanez Artwood guitar. It's a grand concert body acoustic guitar with a solid Okumi top, Okumi back and sides. Now, for those of you who don't know what Okumi is, and I didn't, I had to Google it, because in the specification it did say that it was mahogany, but it's actually Okumi mahogany, which is really not mahogany. It is, however, a sustainable wood from West Africa. And then Ibanez thermally aged the wood to give it a little more resonance. It's got an oven coal fretboard as well. I didn't know what that wood was either. Um, I had to Google that. And again, it is a sustainable wood from West Africa. It's got beautiful chrome die-cast tuners on there as well. Also with a bone wood nut and a compensated bone saddle on there. 20 frets on there and Dario 1253 strings. It's got a really beautiful binding all the way around the top, all the way around the bottom, which I think looks really fantastic. Also the sound hole, the rosette that goes around the sound hole is really, really pretty as well. I'll show you that. It's got a beautifully radius neck and it's soft V so it matches or it's very close to my Fender Vintage 50 Strat. The neck feels really really comfortable and the action on this thing out of the box is absolutely amazing. Makes the guitar so playable. It's got such a pretty headstock on there as well. I put some better pictures up so that you can see those. There's also a scarf joint in the neck, but that's done really well. You can't feel it. You've got a strap button there, strap button there as well. There are no electronics in the guitar, and I could have gone either way with electronics or not, but all of the guitars that I demoed, and that I played when I was at the Guitar Center, and I played a lot of guitars from Yamaha, Breed Love. I played some expensive Martins because, you know, why wouldn't you whilst you were there? And Taylors. But for my budget and my price range, I wanted a really good quality acoustic guitar that sounded fantastic, regardless of whether it had the electronics in there or not. This one didn't, but this one just outshone all the other guitars in its price range for me. So let's go through the three different criteria that I had playability, sound, and we already know what the price is like. There could be a fourth criteria, and that's aesthetics. I mean, who wants an ugly guitar? And this thing is beautiful. So let's start off with playability. So interesting, isn't it, that the playability of this thing is in comparison to a guitar three times its price. The playability on this thing is absolutely amazing. The neck feels great with the soft V, the frets feel fantastic, the action is so low on the twelfth, and the thing just plays like a dream. Let's have a look at the second part of the criteria, which is the sound.
Okay, so the Ibanez AC340 Artwood Acoustic is a little brighter than the Martin. The low end isn't as deep as the Martin, but that's what Martins are known for. They have that, that gorgeous resonance, that deep low end. But I tell you what, this stands up pretty well sound-wise to the Martin. And when you're just playing it at home, I can get such a beautiful resonance from it, which is why I bought the guitar in the first place after playing it in the guitar store and comparing it against all those other acoustic guitars. The last part of the criteria was price. Obviously there's no comparison in the price. This is a $300 guitar. The Martin Road Series Custom Guitar is about $1,000, but this stands up really well against that guitar. I hope you enjoyed this video, they're always fun to make, and if you were looking at buying the Ibanez AC340 Artwood Acoustic Guitar, I hope this helped you out. And I hope it helped you make a decision on whether to actually go to a guitar store and play it, because at the end of the day you really shouldn't take my word for it. You're listening to the sound that I recorded through your smartphone, tablet, computer, TV, whatever. Best thing to do is just get yourself down to a guitar store, play it. And hear it for yourself but I hope that this video allowed you to consider when you go to a guitar store looking at the Ibanez AC340. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.